Greetings! It's Maxo Diddly. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can convert video files like MP4 into OGV video files. OGV video files may be needed in certain situations like playing videos in Godot. Let's get right into it. So firstly, you're going to need VLC Media Player. There'll be a link down in the description below for you to download and install the software. It's free and quick to install. And once you have it installed, you need to go up to media here and then click on convert slash save. After that, you need to then click on add to add a video file you want to convert. So I have got a little file here called bigtimevillain.mp4. So I'm going to select that one. After that, you then click on convert and save. And make sure you have the convert selected up here. And then for the profile. You may already have the profile required to do an OGV. However, I'm going to assume you don't. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this little button here to create a profile. Now for the encapsulation, you want to do OGG slash OGM. For the video codec, firstly tick on video here. Then for codec, I want you to click here and then scroll down until you find Fira. After that, you need to go to your audio codec and click on audio. Then for the codec, I want you to go and click on Vorbis. Also, I recommend changing the sample rates to something like 44,100 hertz. And after that, we can then click on create because we don't need subtitles. Oh, we need to actually give it a name. We'll call this OGV. And then we click create. And now for the profile, we can click here. And if we go to the bottom, our option's going to be there. The next step is we need to select a destination for our file. So we click on browse. And we'll just put it in this folder. And what you need to do is, for the save as type, click on all. And then you need to give your file a name. So we're going to do big, big time villain. And instead of .mp4 or .ogg, you do .ogv at the end. This part is essential to make sure your file is recognized as an OGV file and not an OGG. Then you can click on save and then click on start. And you'll see it, the progress bar going through the whole video because it's playing it and outputting it to an OGV file. And when the progress bar has hit the end and goes back to being empty, you know it's done. So in the file explorer, you need to go to where the video was saved. And as you can see, it's here. So let's open it up. You've turned into a big time villain, doctor. And as you can see, we successfully converted the MP4 file to an OGV file. Now the quality has been downgraded a lot. You can change the bit rate. However, if you want higher quality conversion, I strongly recommend you use other techniques, like FFmpeg. So, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.